a multi-species pasture cropping is a great tool and we're really only dabbling in it and feeling our way through it and learning as we go. But it has some really good benefits in our farming system. Well, multi-species is just that. You're using multiple species, whether it's just a handful or dozens, to try and create a diverse sward of pasture or cover crop in, on your farmland. For me, I break down the species into four categories. So leg, grasses, legumes, brassicas, and forbs. And in the first few years, I was buying every seed I could find. If, if it was a winter seed and it was untreated, I, I added it to our mix and we were able to observe what grew in what years, under what conditions, what wanted to be here and what wasn't so interested. And we're slowly refining that down to a, a slightly smaller number of seeds that we spread each year, but we still want two or three or four representatives from each of those categories in our mix each winter. I'm just using a fertiliser spreader and I put the mix of seeds in the fertiliser spreader. I bounce around the paddocks throwing that seed out on the surface into long summer pasture and then I, we use the cattle turned in pretty much straight after I spread the seed to graze and trample that seed down into the ground. We're not game to use the sheep or pigs or poultry, poultry behind that seed because I think they will just eat it off the soil surface. So it, for this job, cattle are the right animals. They've got big heavy feet, they push the seed into the soil and they're not so inclined to lick the seed up off the ground. So there's several outcomes we'd like to see from the multi-species cropping. One is obviously increasing production and growth during the period when we don't have a lot for animals to eat. So that's obviously number one, being a production farm. Number two is getting that diversity back and in an ecosystem when you get more diverse uh, floristics coming in you actually encourage some of the native mixes to come in and the reason natives are so important is because they're resilient. They're resilient if we get if we have a drought situation, they're resilient if we have a flood situation, um, they can tolerate the conditions better. The next thing we're looking for is to get the system to move away from the, um, the annual to the perennial system so that we don't have to then keep putting uh, more and more things in. We're hoping we will get to a point where some of the, the perennial species, whether they're introduced or native, will persist and then we're putting just a few annuals in so that um, we're not actually investing so much money in the long term. Then in terms of the soil health, is to increase, if you increase our biomass and the health of the system above, it increases the amount of organic matter going into the system using our grazing technique of pushing it down and putting it onto the soil. So we're starting to get cycling happening again. Um, we're starting to wake up that food web, the biology, which gets that cranking. Um, then obviously we're building up our carbon reserves again, which have been depleted over um, the European farming time that, that we've been extracting everything out of the soil. So you're recreating that system to cycle properly again and that's, that's the dream, I guess. <laughs>